When Joanne Heaver started looking for a place to settle in 2019, she didn't imagine finding herself in a relatively new, high-end retirement village on the banks of the Maribyrnong River. Highlights 45 homes in Melbourne's nursing home were severely damaged by flooding last October. 45 homes in the Melbourne retirement village were severely damaged by flooding last October. Residents say they learned details of the village's flood insurance policy only after disaster. Neighborhood residents say they learn details of the village's flood insurance policy only after disaster. There are calls for greater transparency when it comes to home ownership, insurance and climate risk. But more he thought about Village Riverview in Avondale Heights, more he believed it would take care of needs his 36-year-old daughter, who lived with him for a psychological disorder. I thought wonderful and had a few conversations with her medical providers, primarily a psychiatrist, said she, 67. I started selling my other house and I invested about 600,000 in the villa here. Three years later, the retired public official became one of nearly 70 residents displaced when sudden river flooding damaged 45 unoccupied villas and devastated the other two. Riverview residents' homes were badly affected by the floods in October 2022. Residents learned details of the village's building insurance after disaster last October. Policy documents seen by ABC show that Riverview has a 5 million flood insurance limit, which Ms. Heaver and others say is insufficient given the documents suggest 86 million in assets. Riverview, which is owned by real estate company Tickcorp, said 5 million would not fund all of extensive reinstatement work required in village, but agreed to close gap. Residents paying for their own accommodation under Riverview's regulations, residents who bought village did so by signing 99-year leases for villas, leaving building insurance to company to cover company and its contents. In the years leading up to the flood, some residents inquired about their building insurance policy according to notes from residents' committee minutes seen by ABC. Ms. Heaver and other residents say they only learned about the village's flood insurance policy after the disaster. We wanted to know what we would potentially have to address if it wasn't enough, said Ms. Heaver, the committee's former treasurer. However, they say they were not given this information. Instead, Ms. Heaver said a money certificate has entered circulation confirming the 5 million limit after the October 14th disaster a discovery she described as devastating for displaced residents. This is because after the flood, Riverview initially caters for temporary accommodation for displaced residents. But on October 18th, he wrote to them that it was unclear whether insurance would continue to cover these costs. Another resident, Stan Korklanewski, said some his colleagues had to pull out of there.